What is up, E Nation fans? This is E Nation 48 here. Welcome back to another Diecast review. And this is going to be on Elliot Styler's 2018 One Main Financial Chevy Camaro for Junior Motorsports. Originally, I did do a Diecast review on this back in January, but I accidentally deleted the video the next day. So, very unfortunate. I wanted to do a review on this after that, but I've just been lazy, I've been busy. Yada yada yada. But, it's finally here, once again. And, um, I got this from Amazon two months ago with my old gift card. And, here we are. So, let's get to the box. Elliot Sadler, Junior Motorsports. Age is falling up. Elliot Sadler, number one. One main financial 2018 <clears throat> limited edition code 164 scale stalker limited edition collectibles ages four and up x racing collectibles x racing collectibles still the choice of champions barcode nascar action racing collectibles nascar hologram warning choking hazard small parts not for children under three years line out racing rcca elite gm Handcrafted in China and www.lionelracing.com. Let's get this car out of its box. Yeah, I'm gonna just stick my fingers inside. Yeah, get it out. All right. All right, here we go. Here is Elliot Sadler's 2018 One Main Financial Diecast. Let's get over with. So here we got number one, one main, Hunt Brothers Pizza, hold on, American Ethanol, Exalta, Armor, Shelly, Brandt, got the Twins, Tennessee Sponsors, Elliot Sadler, looks like the American flag, Safety Clean, some Fightliner I think, oh I think that's Fightliner, alright hold on, I can't see anything, you know right, Sadler's last name, shit. Silo's last name with two Xfinity logos, one main financial, lending done human, Chevrolet logo, one Camaro, Junior Motorsports, same size left, Chevrolet logo, lending done human, TV camera, OMF.com, number one, uh, I got Mac Tools, Spark, I don't know what that, Auto Meter, I think, and then that's the American logo once again on top. Got the Camaro, got the exhaust pipes, got number one, OMF.com, Sidler, and OMF.com, which is what makes financial.com. Alright, so if I gave it a rating of this car, it'll be 8 out of 10, perfect die cast, a good paint scheme. The main colors of the car is dark blue, light blue on the line, a little bit of gray or light cloudy blue somewhere over here and then white and then you got the um, black spoiler blue splitter uh, just beautiful car and of course most of you guys know that I'm a huge Elliot Sadler fan I know he's retired but he is coming back for Richmond the first Richmond race and in the second Vegas race for college racing the 10 I'm excited for that I'm not gonna lie but at the same time, I'm not surprised that he was going to do some races after retiring. He did say he was done full-time. Never said he was, like, done racing for good. He said, like, he would race, like, some races. So, I was happy, but I wasn't surprised. And growing up as a Sadler fan, I first became a Sadler fan in a nationwide series back in 2000. I think either late 2011 when I wanted him to win a championship. Nothing, not, that time, nothing, I was nothing about, I was not against Stenhouse, even though I didn't like Stenhouse winning championship because Siler lost, and no, I did not hate Stenhouse back then, but I did get pissed at Siler lost, and Stenhouse kept winning championship, and then I became big on Sadler. um, I think that was like one of his best seasons ever when he was in the two car for Richard Children's Racing. Once again, did not win championship. 2013, when he was at Gibbs for two years, he didn't do so good. And um, he did have a, like altercation at New Hampshire with my other favorite Xfinity driver at the time, Regan Smith. Um, yeah. 
And then 2014, he only had one win. And I do happen to have the 2014 uh, Sidler car. Not the Tally Race version, but the regular car. And then 2015, um, he was a Roush for a year. He didn't do so hot. And then he went with Junior Motorsports to end his career for the next three years. I'm not gonna lie, he was, a, he was like a great Junior Motorsports driver. He only had three wins with them and all of them were in 2016. But at least he was like the most consistent driver when he was there, like been the most consistent he was back in like what? When he was in RCR and Kevin Harvick Incorporated. If it wasn't for the stupid chase back in 2016, the stupid ass format, he would have won a championship. And in 2017, he was consistent all year long. He could have won a championship if it wasn't for the playoffs. As you guys know, um, I was so pissed off when he hit, when he did that, when he did that to Ryan Priest at Homestead. I was so pissed off that how he lost. But then again, fuck the playoffs. In 2018, he was consistent, but Algar was more consistent, and Sadler did not make it to the Final Four. Algar could have made it to the Final Four, but no, the stupid playoffs was like, oh my god, Tyler Red did better than Algar, because of one race. And then Reddick won championship, you guys know how I felt. So as a Sadler fan, I was... Sadler was a good driver, sometimes, there was like, sometimes he tried too hard, and got the and got anger the best of him. But then again, one of the best Xfinity drivers I've seen in this era. I'm excited to see him race for two races. Again, let's just say he was a great Xfinity driver with no championship. Could have won it like twice if it wasn't the format. Oh my God, fuck the Xfinity series, fuck the playoffs, not gonna lie. Sorry, this was like a slow or boring review, but I'm a, I'm a huge Sadler fan in Xfinity, so yeah. Anyway, so perfect car. Um, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ianpress25 and Ianation48. Like my Facebook page, Ianasco48-Ianation Films. Don't forget to... Turn on my non notifications for more content in this channel. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.